Yo, Aguan, hope you're having a great day. Now, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to delete and remove tracks in Studio One. So this is great when you need to make more space and make your project easier to get through, to maneuver through, all that sort of stuff. And when you want to get rid of tracks that you're no longer using, maybe you've got some recordings that you've got on there, you're no longer using those and it's slowing down your project. This will help you speed things back up. Now, if you don't know who I am, I'm Jay Carr array from jcarteray.com teaching you how to be better at music online business and online marketing this is the number one spot for musicians and creatives that don't want to be starving artists so if that sounds like you click on that subscribe button check out the rest of the content on the channel because you will love it here now let's get straight into this shall we so here i've got a project with studio one up and running and there are a few different ways to delete tracks and remove tracks in studio one now first of all if you've got a recording track and you've got a variety of layers on that in order to delete those layers you can just click on this x button over here and that will remove a layer very very easy very very straightforward now if you want to delete something like this a full track you can hit that let me just get rid of that down there go away Norton this ain't a time or place you can hit the right click and go to remove track okay not hide track not disable track you want to remove the track completely the shortcut for this is also shift and T so as I've just deleted that I'm going to use shift and T to delete this track okay that's gone super easy that's how you delete and remove tracks in studio one I hope this video helped you out if you've got any questions or any other tutorials you want me to make let me know in the comment section down below and because you've made it through to this part in the video I want to give you a special free gift now you can get five of my best r b trap beats for absolutely free and you can make money from your music by using these beats because it also comes with five of my basic licenses those basic licenses usually cost 29.95 on my beat store but you're getting over a hundred dollars of free beats all you need to do is go to jcarteray.com forward slash free beats or click on the link in the description and i suggest you grab this before it's no longer available so you know go grab it now now my question of the day is how often do you delete tracks and layers from your recording project or from your song to keep everything you know clean and keep everything easier to maneuver through let me know in the comment section down below or do you just let it be chaos do you just keep everything that you've recorded and just keep that in the project forever until the song's done let me know that would be very very interesting and it will be some interesting insight into your process now if you've got any questions or any other tutorials you need me to make leave those in the comment section down below and i'll be happy to jump on that and help you out in the next video you'll learn more about music online business and online marketing and i'll see you there Peace out.